everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today, your girl has finally done it. She's actually finished her hamster cage. Finally. <laughs> it's like about 5,000 years, but we got there. Yeah, I've done it and I'm really excited because tomorrow I will be getting a hamster. It's currently Saturday night. We were supposed to be getting one today, but it didn't happen for certain reasons. I had to go visit my dad because he was quite ill yeah, uh, yesterday and we were gonna get one then. The men's stage has been a bit manic, so we just left it and said we'll get one tomorrow, which we are, and I'm very excited. I thought I'd just update you and bring you along with me to get my new hamster, because I am oh, I'm so excited. You're probably like, why is she getting a new hamster? I thought she had a, I thought she had her other hamster that she was gonna put in it. Unfortunately, Flossie has passed away. She passed away about two weeks ago now. She started growing a lump on her side and we took her to the vet and they gave us stuff for it and they said if it clears and it's obviously not a tumour, it's probably like a cyst or something, but if it doesn't then it's obviously a tumour and unfortunately it didn't clear and probably like a week after we took her to the vet, <coughs> a week after we took her to the vet, she passed away. Yeah, it was horrible to watch. I, I, cause with my other hamster, I never saw him actually suffer and like, I never saw him dying. I just went to school, came back and he was gone. But with Flossie, I had to watch it and it was not, not cut me off then. <laughs> um, but yeah, with Flossie, I had, I, what, I had to see her like dying and it was not nice at all. Like it was really hard for me to watch. <laughs> I'm like, Robert, it's literally a hamster, go over it, but. <laughs> She was my little baby, okay? But that's that over with. That's the sad part over with. So I waited two weeks to for another hamster just for me to grieve. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow we're getting one and I'm so excited. I've probably said about 500 times, but I just want you to know how excited I am. And as you can probably see behind me, it's the cage. And yes, there's an IKEA detail. I've probably told you all this before, but oh, just setting it up was so exciting because I've been waiting for this moment for ages. Like, it's been a journey to get here. We finally got here and tomorrow's the day. Yeah, I just can't wait to go on this journey with you guys and bring you along with me and just... Uh, this is what I've been waiting for for ages and I just can't wait. Okay, so I'm going to show you the cage now. I've been ranting on. That's what I literally do all the time. I'll show you the cage now, so... Let's get on with it. So this is the big reveal. It's nothing really special, but I like it. I am going to get more accessories when I go into the shop tomorrow and just have a look around for more accessories. I'm going to get the hamster. This is her sand part. You know, got a wheel. Well, he or she, I'm not sure yet. Got a little house there in the sand bath. Um, got a little chew. <laughs> so cute. And then got a little fence here to block off the sand and the bedding and here she can just walk through it and i'll have to probably go sift through that every like two or three days to spot clean and stuff like that sometimes they can use their sand for the lit tray and here is the thing that i got off amazon if it was 14 pound i got it for it's just this big like climbing frame thing i'm not sure but it's got a little ramp that you go up to and there's like a little hide in there that she or he can go in and same here it's got a little hide in there and like a little ramp to go up and i sprinkled a lot of herbs in here and obviously it's like natural paves and stuff like that and i've put a, i've mixed some aspen with some bedding to um make a more like natural theme and you've got a little rainbow bridge <laughs> adorable and then i forgot what this is called i think it's millet spray or something like that but i saw this girl use them on her youtube so i thought i'd give it a go i think most of the stuff off here is off amazon and like a little carrot chew <laughs> it's, got a freaking, it's got a freaking aubergine chew what the hell this is too cute and then we just have a little water bottle there stuck with some velcro that i also got from amazon and um, that was really cheap actually i think it's like three pounds something and there's like a lot of bedding here so she can borrow and i have some oxbow hay here as well so it helps with like securing burrows i've learned a lot from this youtuber man like i literally knew none nothing about hamsters before i watched her like it's crazy and by the way we do have a lid um it's just it's we're gonna go really early in the morning well, not really early but we're gonna go about half 10 to get the hamster my stepdad's making the lid for the cage and he's gonna be have it done like he just needs to put the handles on and he's gonna do that really early in the morning and then we're all done i'm so excited i've said that about 500 times <laughs> 
So now I'm gonna do a little haul of everything that I used for the hamster cage. Okay, this one's this angle's kind of weird. I'm like sitting on the floor right now. Um, But yeah, I'm just gonna show you all the products I use. I'm sorry if my head like cuts off halfway through, during this thing. It's on a really weird angle. And yes, I do need to get my hair cut. It's super long at the moment, but I hate getting my hair cut so much. I just can't describe how much I hate it. Like I'm so scared every time in case you, they, like, they cut too much off. Like I'm very protective of my hair. Anyway, that's completely different subject um let's actually do this now so the first thing that i use is a bit of an iffy product um it's this tiny friends farm bathing sand suitable for chinchillas hamsters gerbils and degus so i've heard very mixed reviews on this sand so i brought this sand in wilco ages ago and it was quite cheap and i thought it doesn't say dust anywhere so i thought i'd get it and then I went online and heard a lot of mixed reviews about this. Apparently people say it's dusty and say the texture's weird, but I'm going to try it out. And I'm probably going to try it out, but even if it's fine with my hamster, I might just change it anyway just to be on the safe side. But I'm going to try it out and just see how it goes, but I probably will end up changing it to like reptile sand or something in the future. But yeah, I, I'm just going to keep an eye on the sand and just see how it goes. So the next thing that I'm using is this Board and Breaker Woody's Nibble Sticks. Obviously I've used three of them so there's only two in here but there's a carrot, there's an apple, there's some other apples, that's a green apple and there's an aubergine. <laughs> so cute and then there's another carrot in there that I have. Of course Amazon, really cheap, um, just thought I'd have little shoes in there so they are really cute. Like I can't wait to see them nibble on that and just... Have fun. So next thing is Oxbow Orchard Grass Hay. And um, it's currently like falling everywhere. <laughs> but I just got this grass to help with the burrows as it makes the burrows more secure. There are certain hays that you can't give hamsters because they're just too hard. They could poke their eye or they could poke their cheek pouch, which is not good. So you have to get Orchard Grass Hay is a hot, soft hay, so that's good for hamsters. And um, I forgot which other one, but there is another one in with Oxbow Hay, which is good for hamsters. Yeah, I'll put, I'll probably put up which one is good for hamsters, so. I think it was £9 for hamsters, quite expensive, but I wanted my hamsters to have good burrows, okay? And what I'll use for the herbs is this Rosewood Naturals Autumn Harvest. And you know, herb mixes are good for hamsters, it's you know make some forage for it it brings out the natural behaviors makes the it makes the cage look more like natural i hope it's obviously good for hamsters obviously and so i thought i'd get a pack of this and like sprinkle it around the cage and it makes it look it makes it look pretty as well i think it will keep the hamsters from getting bored as they can forage for ages and yeah this is quite cheap as well i got off amazon for about three pounds oh, smells like leaves so the next thing I got, which also from Amazon, is this Minute Sprays for small animals. Um, I got this from Amazon also, it's for £5 something. I got these because I saw a girl on YouTube use these. Um, she had something similar to these, but um, yeah, I got this from Amazon. I thought I'd use this because they're good for hamsters, bring out the natural behaviours and yeah. Next thing I got was also from Amazon, would you believe it? I don't. I just got this little tea strainer, but I just got it to use for sieving through the sand, sprinkling the food, I don't know, for foraging. Use for all different kinds of things, but I probably will mainly be using this for spot cleaning the sand, just going through it and sieving through it for like, you know, bits of bedding, bits of aspen, bits of wee and sh shit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was about £2 something for Amazon proper bargain proper nice as well so the next thing i got which is spilling everywhere is some um, aspen bedding i got this for amazon also but was a bit disappointed and i was ripped off massively because this bag was 22 quid it looks big on camera but it's tiny in real life not tiny but it's a lot smaller than what you could get for 22 quid like come on at least we have it i just mixed it with bedding and you know all that stuff so the next thing i got it was this little well not really little but it's quite big little playpen 
<laughs> what should I say, little? This quite big playpen. Also got this of Amazon. I should just work for Amazon at this point. I'm not gonna spread out right now, but as you can see, it's fairly large. Obviously it's a Roman time. Get out of its cage. And that's obviously like if they are using its ball, which I used, used to put Flossie in, I used to put in the ball until I realised that was quite dangerous. Excuse me. I realised that ball was quite dangerous, so you know I can just use that to get out of the cage and obviously if I'm like cleaning around I can put it in there. So finally the last thing is of course it is Katie Clean and Cozy Bedding. I also got this off Amazon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I yeah, also got this off Amazon, which was £22. We did get two. We got, this is the 85 litres, which is the biggest one. and But we also had a 49 litres and we used that whole bag for this cage. We might add a bit more like across here. You can't see where I'm going, where I'm pointing. But might add a little bit more while... Before we get her i don't know why i keep saying her like it's because i had flossy she was a girl so i keep saying her but it i might add a bit more before we get it but yeah that's that i do really recommend this bedding or something like care fresh like these beddings are really good i've never used care fresh before but i've heard it's good but this is definitely good like, i really recommend this it's such good bedding it's such good quality as well yeah you can get it off amazon you can get probably like, i think five different sizes don't quote me on that, I don't know if it's five or six, I'm not sure, but this is the biggest size you can get. And you can get like a, I think it's like 12 litres, that's the smallest you can get, but I also get this big one if you're having like a massive cage like this, which you should be. Um, not like this cage, but you should have a big cage for your hamster anyway. But yeah, so that's everything I have. So I haven't shown you everything that in the cage, because you know, I can't be able to get it out and put it back in again, it's such an effort. But, everything that I sh but a lot of stuff I've shown you now is in the cage anyway. I just showing the wheel. I think I think the wheel's 12 inch or it's 11 inch. I'm not sure. There's lots of chews in, here, in there. Got a little pink igloo, uh, rainbow bridge, and then the big bunch of bedding in the corner and the cork log that she can go into and just. Oh, I keep saying she, it. I'm also so excited to get it and just see it run around the cage and hold it it's for the first time. Obviously not. Obviously, in a few days. Obviously not straight away. But yeah, I should probably go for a shower now because it's probably like 9 o'clock. Um, I should probably go for a shower and go to bed and just wake up early in the morning and just be excited about getting my new hamster and bringing you guys along with me. I'm very, very, very excited. See you tomorrow, guys, when we get the new hamster. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So it's the morning now and um, it's currently... 23 past 10 and I'm meant to leave at half past so I'm in a bit of a rush, I need to hurry up. I just need to brush my hair and just put my rings on and stuff like that and put perfume on and then we can go out the door and just pet to the home and just <laughs> get my little hammy. Sorry how rough I look as well, I didn't long wake up so that's great. I'm really tired as well because the clock went back last night and I'm just like ugh. So I'm just gonna get one hour less in bed and I like my sleep okay so... So this is what I'm going to be using to take he or she home. It's just a little carrier we got from Amazon with some bedding in. And these are much better to use than pets at home cardboard carriers. Like, they can easily chew through them and, like, get lost in your car. It's just very stressful for you and your hamster. So just, you know, these are much better to get when you're taking them to the vet or bring them on home, you know. I'm actually going to get ready now because otherwise we will not make it in time. So, yeah, bye. Bye, 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 bye. So here is the cage all done and finished. We also make a few adjustments with the lid as there were gaps here. So we had to put pieces of wood here so the house wouldn't get out. But this is the lid, looks cool, these little handles. Oh, this makes me even more excited. And obviously another part here because there was a gap. But yeah, we are off to get the little hammy okay, now. Okay guys, so we have him and it's a, it's a he. He's in his cage. I was gonna film, you know, him in the carrier and getting him in, but I just want it to be as like less stressful as possible for him so i just wanted to get him in quick and just get him settled in but right now he's borrowed in his little borrow part yeah hang on i'll show you you can see there's his little face peeking out look how adorable he is oh. 
he's so cute. Oh, oh my god, yeah, he's always putting the little herbs in his pouch that I sprinkled around his cage. So yeah, he's oh, he's just so adorable and he's, you know, foraging for all my little herbs. Oh goodness, guys, look, he's adorable. I really hope he's gonna have so much fun in this cage because not every day people go out and get a huge cage like this just for the hamster. <sighs> it makes me happy that I can make him happy and so he's just, you know, healthy and thriving. Not surviving, thriving. <laughs> Jesus is here. Um, let's just sort that out. <laughs> so, guys, he's in his hide. He's, I think he's settling in. Well, yeah, he's in his hide now and he's gone back to sleep because I don't blame him. If someone woke me up just to take me somewhere, I'd be like, um, no, let me sleep now. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here and I will post, you know, updates and like a video of me holding him and stuff and about the name i'm gonna make another video and just of me holding him and probably just sitting with him and telling you about him like his updates and then in that video i will tell you his name oh he's adorable i love him so yeah thanks for watching guys make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye